the most amazing things that he predicted, and again, this is truly amazing. Very amazing thing. Of the amazing things he predicted. Hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. That of the signs of Judgment Day, obesity will spread amongst the people. This is exactly from Sahih Bukhari. وَيَظْهَرُ فِيهِمُ السَّمِنِ And semen is, what is semen, ya Arabs? What is semen? Butter. Fat. That is semen. وَيَظْهَرُ فِيهِمُ السَّمِنِ This hadith is in Bukhari. Of the signs of judgment day. Now, it is awkward because I'm also trying to lose weight. Don't worry, we're all in the same boat here. Okay. But, wallahi, jokes aside. What an amazing prediction. We need to go back even 200 years, a thousand years, a thousand five hundred years. Nobody was fat. Anybody who was obese is the exception, not the rule. The Romans, the Persians, the Indians, the Chinese, the Arabs, everybody's busy walking, doing things. Obesity was never a problem of a land. It didn't happen. You always had the one, you know, very spoiled, rich, whatever. You always have that one person. But as a trend, it did not exist in any land. Think about that. And for our Prophet wasallam to say that obesity will be a global trend. This is mind boggling. No one could have imagined that there's going to be a World Health Council about the problem of obesity in the modern world. No one could imagine that the United Nations would have a department monitoring the obesity of countries. No one could have imagined this even 50 years ago, much less 1,500 years ago. But that is exactly what our Prophet predicted, that obesity will be rampant in my ummah and in all ummahs. And that is the reality. Now, Again, it's an awkward thing and I do, again, apologize. But what does this mean? Is obesity haram? Is it, is it sinful to be overweight? Why is the process of saying this? Well, let us be very clear. Obesity is definitely not something that our sharia encourages. Let's be honest about this. And again, I speak as somebody who myself, I am an inch or two I need to lose. And I'm also in the same boat as, as all of you. That's why the boat is so heavy, mashallah, tabarakallah. We have to be clear. Do you think that it is something that our Lord and our Prophet encourage? Because what, what does obesity indicate? Tell me. Hmm? Laziness, what else? Gluttony, what else? Hmm? Spoiled. So when you're spoiled, you're giving up something else, which is? Health, being physically fit, being physically active. If you need to defend yourself, your family, your deen, how should you be? Obese or fit? A society that is obese, how can it defend itself when people are knocking its doors down? So let's be brutally honest. It is not haram. You're not going to go to Jahannam if you're three pounds overweight. Alhamdulillah, don't worry about that. But let's be honest here. It's not something that Allah and His Messenger encourage. And that is why our Prophet said that of the signs of Judgment Day is that obesity will be rampant. Everyone will be struggling with this. And Audhu Billah, but out of the top ten countries, I think seven are Muslim nations. The number one country in the world is a Muslim country. Number two is a Muslim country. I think number four is a Muslim country. We are all struggling with this. In some countries, the majority of people and citizens, Muslim lands, are classified as obese. And again, go back one generation. No one could have thought of this. One generation, the same oil-rich lands that are now, mashallah, Ruz Bukhari and Dajjaj and Qabs and all this, right? That one generation ago, they were struggling to get food. They were struggling for bread. Again, just because we're born in a time place, we don't ever think back. This same society, their fathers and grandfathers were struggling for food. And the tables have turned. 
And now, so much food they have that they're struggling what to do with it. And this is predicted by our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.